The renin system plays an important role in the control of blood pressure. However, most patients with hypertension have an overactivated renin system. This overactivation leads not only to increased blood pressure, but also a variety of harmful growth-promoting effects on cardiac, vascular, and renal tissue. The enzyme renin is secreted into the bloodstream from the kidney's juxtaglomerular cells. Once in the bloodstream, renin activates the system by cleaving angiotensinogen to form angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 is then cleaved by the angiotensin converting enzyme or ACE to form the active peptide angiotensin 2. ACE inhibitors work at this downstream step of the renin system, preventing the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. Once angiotensin 2 is formed, it binds to AT1 receptors, which in turn cause vasoconstriction, inflammation, and myocardial remodeling. Angiotensin receptor blockers, or ARBs, work here by preventing angiotensin II from binding to the AT1 receptor. To provide optimal blood pressure management, new antihypertensive therapies should provide greater renin system control. Experts have long believed that directly inhibiting renin at the beginning of the renin system presents an intrinsically logical approach. A direct renin inhibitor would effectively reduce the formation of all downstream components, including angiotensin 1 and 2, for superior blood pressure control.